This deck feels really good, right? I'm not just uh, imagining this. Like, this feels powerful. Definitely still feels losable. I mean, there's no question this can lose games, but we can get a bad hit, get bad discovers. Like, clearly we can lose, but I, I feel like it, it feels, feels pretty good. Cheap discovers, please. That is too much tradable. No, thank you. They keep polluting the deck with more and more of these tradables. I mean, are there no, like, discover buckets? I need, like, a triple venomous scorpid bucket, you know? Wow. Boromar the battle stance. Oh, my God. It is just endless tradable. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I could just spend 10 mana trading down really easily. Okay, I take it back. This deck is feeling worse. It's definitely feeling a lot worse. Uh, all right, silver golems. Man, that's a good start. Jeez, we're way behind already. Can I hit a two drop? No, more, more tradable. Great. Okay, we're gonna speed bump the peasant, right? We don't really care if it lives, they're gonna feel like they have to hit it with either face or three three. That's fine. Let him do it. I'm just kind of speed bumping. Speed bumping. Oh god. What's that? Alright. Coin Soul Shear. Hero power after. Spawn of Deathwing. Alright. This definitely has some tome discard stuff I'm seeing. All right, this is why I saved our three drops instead of our four drop, because I can just play this for a body here and probably feel okay about it. Um, Treaded Mount doesn't feel like the return I'm looking for necessarily. I think Suffocating Shadows at two mana is an okay card. I think we won't be too upset to play this at some point. Next turn, not looking great though. We can hero power. Maybe we'll hit a power of the horde and just play a minion. I don't know. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, I love that they're trading. That's a great sign. Trade him out can always get buffed. Yeah, but I'm worried about uh, what's his dude specifically here. Uh, Killmonger guy. Kill, Killmox guy. <laughs> Killmonger's Marvel Snap, bro. <laughs> I, I just think I need some hard removal later. I don't think we're going to win fast enough for that to matter. I mean, I, I get it, maybe, but... Am I better off just going for an engineer that's buffed, or am I trying to hit my curve here? Let's just do this. We want to play hero power some. Oh, okay. That's that's not as exciting as I thought, but it's all right. It's a body. Um, Spellbender does kind of sometimes matter, but Cheat Death is really good on this for zero mana, right? That's like a buff. This goes to two mana, though, so I can't discount a better secret. I don't know if Cheat Death is actually going to connect on this, right? So maybe I... Maybe I just go here. I don't know. Hard to know. Uh, next turn, I think, will be a 3-drop and a Deep Run Engineer. Probably Impatient Chopkeep Engineer. Just make sure we're hitting that curve. I mean, Spellbender, in theory... It's kind of fine. If I hit a better 3-drop, I would. Merchant's not better because I need to play the shopkeep first. Yeah, the shopkeeps are making themselves... <laughs> they're making themselves known here. Uh, they know what they want. Mm, Zubot? Seems kind of potentially good. We do have some beasts. Uh, this is going to be really the only... M oh, this just works on everything, though. That's kind of nice. Yeah, that actually might be good. Never mind. That works on everybody. I thought this was only mechs for a second. But no, that's good. Okay. School spirit's not too bad. Are they gonna kill the two one here? Uh, I might just play. Oh no, never mind. Four two, four two, four two health. I might just play shopkeep merchant man and like set up to buff later. Maybe we can hit a power of the horde here and buff now. That would be nice. I like how much board maintenance they're having to do because I'm just like getting to do this chip damage for free. Hoping to stick a big board at some point, right? What do you guys think? Should I push for hero power? The problem is I do have some downsides now like peasants and stuff. I don't know why my deck tracker is not actually tracking my deck, by the way. 
It'd be nice if I could see what was actually in my deck. Let me see. Did that fix it? Oh, there we go. Nope. It doesn't like power the hordes for some reason. I don't know. Whatever. This is fine. We just go bigger here. Power of the Horde, I think, makes this play pretty good. Um, Discover. Yeah, Discover. Wow. Okay, sure. It's a buff. I love it. All right, Tiny Knight. Into Tome Tampering, finally. No. Just putting some stats in play, maybe. Oh, my God. How big can I go here with the Enhanceo? We don't really know yet. But nine power showing. I mean, theoretically, if they both got a wind fury. We're looking at a, a lethal probably because I'm going to put 11 power or more. No, I kind of want all the stuff buffed, right? I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to try to get a demon that's playable here. Although, man, I don't know. War commands and Hanso is pretty nuts. Let's do that. That's better usually. Banker's not really my favorite, but it's okay. Haunt and Divine Shield. We'll take it. We'll take it. That's fine. Sure, in case I need to kill a kill Mox guy, right? Maybe a board of totems to buff is kind of cool. Got a dilemma here. I, I think I actually kind of have to kill this guy. He's he's sort of spooky, and I have a good trade on it anyway. I mean, 16 versus 10 is, to me, not really, you know, such a significant difference that you... Feel like you have to push face, right? Feel like we're probably setting up a lethal regardless almost. Oh, that's a good clear though, man. Really nice. So, oh, this is infused three totems. I forgot it had to be totems. That's never ever going to happen. <laughs> okay, it's fine. One minion is also good because uh, we don't discover it, but we choose it. But uh, I kind of forgot it has to be totems. That's a little sad. Okay. Losing that board does suck, though. I gotta be honest. That's tough. That is tough. Taunt Totem, maybe, to disrupt that the most, I guess. Seems good. Strength Totem, I feel like, is not gonna be returns that we really care about too much. <laughs> I guess this is always what you get. I was just thinking there's not a lot of neutral totems, huh? I mean, Amalgam is the best body, right? So that seems fine. Feet of Strength is kind of neat, but I actually kind of want some cards. Wait, how does this work? Oh, just, just anything. Uh, actually, we don't care about that, so let's take this. I think right now, though, we're going to play Spellbender just to maybe try to protect, you know, some kind of minion snipe here or something, right? Hand's a little light. This is kind of the worst hand we've had in a while. That was a good board clear that, you know, we were sort of all in on that board clear there for a minute. And then, yeah, I don't know. This hand feels light. All right, what are they going to get out of this? Any good discard stuff? That looked like a rag. What all was in there? Rag, Malganis, Jailer. Oh, God. Hand of Goldan drew them a lot of cards back. They got some Jeklix and three Hand of Goldan cards. So Malganis and jailer in there we uh do have this which can kill a malganis randomly but if both are down simultaneously we are not guaranteed by any means so we got to be careful hey mrs kilvin what's up you look cute your orange shirt looks so orange those pants though <laughs> No, I, I like your shirt, but those pants, we got to talk about those pants. I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is there. Wow. Good eye. All right, guys, so we have lethal here. I can push like Rift Cleaver to clear, and then I can take a buff. That's, you know, we're, we're at uh, eight. We need to fight 10 damage. So, no, I don't think we have any lethal setups here. I do want to go pretty big, though, so that they're at risk when they play Jailer Malganis, right? I need them to feel some some risk. Uh, am I willing to take eight? I think so. You don't expect this deck to have like a lot of burst damage, right? So we're at nine mana. If I want to play Gone Fishing, I need to play something else first. This can't be used against Jailer Magana stuff because it's targeted. So I think we might as well use it now. This is the moral of my story here. 
I mean, maybe I just zero power power the horde, right? So we really need. Oh, we don't need the we don't need the gun fishing right now. Let's get another body to buff on board, right? This is I'm looking for like twisting nethers, brawls. Yeah, I don't think I want any of these really. Card drawn to power the hordes, I guess, can help me find a win, but it's gonna be tough. I think we might be in trouble here, folks. Kind of a risk of dying. Kind of a risk of them playing Jailer Malganis. Might have to get lucky in that regard. Maybe I had to kill that 1 3 to deny the Jailer Malganis, actually. If I really think about it. That's good. The best target, of course. Bristleback's insane. Oh my god, this swing turn's gross. Okay. Oh my god. What a turn, dude. What a turn. I'm so screwed. Everything's one mana. Ugh. Actually, might be good news that that didn't hit face. Okay, I need... Wand? I can try to find it off Gone Fishing. Cheapest play I have is Suffocating Shadows. Wand is another answer to the Malganis stuff later, though, but I the problem is I have to deal with this now. I can't afford to deal with it later. This is only four and does theoretically, if it hits Power of the Hordes, refresh me a little. This might be the cheapest way to set up a combo other than, than Suffocating. We'll try this. I don't know. Hopefully we hit, hit some spell. Nope. Wand? Nope. Brawl? Brawl? <laughs> I think we're just dying, right? Um, I, I could try to, like, I guess I can Suffocating Shadows at the end, but I, I could put in a Taunt first, but I'm hoping to find a playable thing. Solid Alibi? Okay. That'll be a thing. All right, that gives me time to find a wand, maybe. I mean, we're still taking like seven, it's pretty scary. But we're not dead, we're not dead. They're basically healing back to full or close to it anyway. Oh my God, dude, I didn't even notice that in the dome. Jeez, that's gross. We're, we're so stressed by Malganus Jailer stuff, but we have a lot of problems in the meantime. Like, there's just so many good plays off the... Off all this, that, that's not even really your worst problem, usually. These are actually taking eight here, we find out with the weapon if they use the uh, second charge anyway. Ah, there's the Jailer, okay. And there's the Malganus, okay, so we really just need Wand. We really just need Wand. Uh, or I guess like a Twisting Nether is fine too, right? Do I start with like Jackson tradable and just try to discover the wand? I think that's the most likely outcome. Wand will clear Jailer, right? Yeah. It's a destroy effect, not a... It should. Wand. It should destroy everything. Yeah. Nice. Do I have any healing here? Oh my god, we got twisting too. Um, okay, we'll take that for the next board, maybe. That's fine. Wow. Okay. That works. So I just need to stay alive now. Oh god. That's a lot of damage, dude. I can play some taunts, I guess. Play a Moarg, maybe we'll be fine. That's gross. Do they have three over the top, though? Oh, is their hand literally just all Jekyllix? Oh, if it is, then this should be fine. Yeah, I think it is, right? It's just all Jekyllix. Um, so we can just play Moarg and chill. Maybe, maybe take one of these to find some healing too, right? I think their hand is literally four Jekyllix though. So I think this should be totally, totally fine. Uh... These literally all say Jekyllick, so I don't think they can win with Jekyllick, right? I think it's okay. Missed one buff? How do you mean? Oh, I can't target those anyway. Yeah, 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 of course. Good point, good point, good point. But once we Twisting Nether, 
we'll be fine. That was a trade, not a discover, right? So this will kill one thing. I mean, do I have to twist another this turn? Not really, right? Oh, are they just dead ever? I have so many buffs. This is 13. What does their fatigue count out? They're taking three. Oh, they're just totally dead, right? They kind of have to be dead, right? Feels like they're giga dead. Uh, that would be bad, actually. Uh, I haven't done the math here, but they're just giga dead, right? 15, this is 17, and then Frost Shock for lethal, yeah. I mean, plus fatigue or whatever, but... Oh, actually, spell damage. <laughs> okay, not fatigue, yeah. That works, too. All right, dude, that was a cool game. That was scary. That was fun, though. That was really fun.